I wonder when's the last time we actually heard a compassionate story about the plights that an orphan is suffering or a homeless person. We don't hear about that anymore. Instead, uh, we get to hear about celebrities and uh, the, the plight that people who are well off are experiencing. So uh, we're, we're going to be watching something that went viral, which is uh, the unfortunate experiences of a uh, famous lady as she travels through the dangerous streets of Belgium. I'm not from China. You stop saying me how. Okay? Yeah, that is a fucking know. racist. Chilling, chilling. Fuck you, you racist. You. Ni hao. Ni hao. Ni hao. Fuck you. I'm not from China. I'm from Thailand, man. You fucking educate. Not everybody from China. Fuck you, man. You a fucking bitch. Now, as you can imagine, this caused a massive controversy on Twitter. Uh, it got 4.8 million views. And uh, there is uh, a debate going on. Apparently, a lot of people are pointing out that uh, those individuals aren't of Belgium ethnicity. They are migrantes. And the other uh, group is asking, well, so what? I mean, the article is saying that uh, the plight was experienced in Belgium. It does not uh, talk about the heritage and the ethnicity of the people uh, creating the plight. So I will uh, answer to the first question, why does it matter? And uh, if you happen to live here in Europe, especially in Western Europe, there is uh, a very persistent ideology that likes to shame the common man for what other people do, right? So if you happen to be a Belgian and you're sitting in your house and you're playing your video games, you, you want to isolate yourself from society because it's going crazy and you, you just want to sit home, you want to watch your ushikushi waifus in anime, you want to play video games, you're responsible for what has transpired. Okay, like you are just as guilty as those people on the street. You are a racist, misogynistic pig, uh, and your country is also racist, right? So this is what the ideology does. It assigns collective guilt upon a person that just wants to be left alone. And the argument that the person can have is like, well, okay, look, I'm Belgium, and this is my identity. I, I can't shake it off like I was born this way. But I understand that uh, we live in a more progressive utopia. And uh, we, we do identity politics now. So I am responsible for the other people that share my identity. And the people causing the racismus are not of my identity. And therefore, you should bark at a different tree. Right? So this is how people are trying to defend themselves now. Because like, there is no other argument that you can have. Again, like the very fact that you're being shaped for something that another person does is ridiculous. Like a brother is not responsible for what the other brother in the household does. Like if your brother breaks a vase and your mother is upset, like is she going to punish you just because you happen to be his brother? Like it doesn't work that way, right? Uh, but for some reason, society pushes us towards that direction. Like, you, you are responsible for what other people do. And of course, this is so that you start donating your money towards various activist groups uh, so that you get involved and you become a good ally and you spread the good message and you become a good drone, right? Like, this is where the push is at. Uh, and you should be ashamed. You should be ashamed for things that happen in your country and are outside of your control. Uh, of course, you know, it's like this thing, it's where... She experienced it in Belgium. So you name the country, right? Like the country itself is racist, despite the fact that it opened its borders and many people want to go there to, I guess, like experience the racism according to this ideology. Uh, again, you are responsible. So what people are trying to do is like they're trying to distance themselves from the situation. And they're going, it's like, look, it's not my identity group. I'm not the one. To, it's not the country at fault, right? Um, but then, you know, let's analyze this. So, uh, okay, they, they said me how. Like, why does she have to be Chinese? I mean, if, if we're going to be so pedantic about it, and, and we're going to play with definitions and stuff like that, well, you know, maybe they assume that she learned Chinese. I mean, I know a lot of people that are European and they speak Chinese. So, uh, you know, like, if, if, if you want to be this level of pedantic. Uh, but in reality, what is going on here is obviously that they are trying to upset her. Like, every country, every place in the world is going to have alleyways where uh, individuals are going to gather... And what those individuals want to do is called real-life trolling, okay? Now, society does not 
champion this type of behavior. It is a behavior that usually young men have. But unless you want to criminalize any type of offensive behavior, unless you want to create a society where people for just saying something go to prison and you want to risk your son one day when you have him to go to prison as well because he did something stupid, right? Because no one does anything stupid when they're teenagers. It never happens. And the ones that do should be locked up away from civilized folk in, in a progressive environment, in a left-leaning uh, European country. This is how we should organize our nation, right? So unless you want that, you do have to understand that some people will be twats, okay? And this is what you're experiencing now. You have discovered several twats. They probably saw that you are live streaming, they probably wanted to make fun of you, and apparently they knew how to get a reaction. If you weren't uh, Asian looking, they would have said something else. Because believe it or not, when you see someone live streaming on the streets, uh, many people do want to bother that person, especially if you're a Twitch streamer, because uh, there is a stigma towards uh, people that are on Twitch. Like it or not, it exists. I don't know why, it's up to you to find out. Uh, but this is what I believe it happened, right? So the correct answer would have been to keep walking. But because you gave them a reaction, uh, they're going to double down on it. You are giving them what they want. Their purpose is to upset you and you act like you are upset. So congratulations, you know, you're telling them to educate themselves. Well, they don't need any education. They, they knew exactly how to upset you, like mission accomplished. Now, if you weren't upset, then they would have gotten educated. Then they would have been like, okay, well, why did this Twitch streamer get upset when I tried my best? And then they would get educated and they would try to be even more offensive the next time to the other person, right? And by the way, uh, speaking of getting educated, don't you think that if you constantly water down the concept of racism at one point, people will stop caring about it. I mean, these individuals didn't seem to give a fuck when you said that they're racist. Well, what I mean is, like, I, I understand that we live under a European society with European values and, you know, the, the language is constantly evolving and uh, in order to be called racist nowadays, it's enough to just not want to see a Disney movie to not give tr uh, money to the trillion dollar corporation by uh, seeing the new Ariel, like that, that is enough to be labeled a racist. Uh, or to say ni hao to a person, that is also enough to qualify, you know, like back in the day, uh, racism was something horrible, like not hiring someone based on their skin color, uh, committing violence towards a person, right? But apparently those acts now are the same, like refusing to watch a Walt Disney movie. So if you're going to just constantly water down the definition, more and more and more, you are going to get to a point where, like in this video, the individuals didn't seem to care much. And then uh, you're going to have other individuals that will be like, well, you know, they're not part of my identity group, so, um, well, I I'm squat free this time. It is interesting, right? And the, and the very fact that this got 4.8 million views, to me, it shows that Belgium isn't a very racist country. Like, if I had seen an act of violence... If I had seen something, uh, you know, done to her or her property or anything like that, okay, fine. But like, okay, you walked on the street and uh, you, you, you managed to encounter a twat. Wow, that never happened to me in my entire life. I, I never had that anywhere. Uh, I, what can I say? I'm sorry that it happened to you. I hope it doesn't happen again. Uh, I, I hope that uh, Belgium manages to pull its act together. They spend more money on policing. Oh, wait, you can't do that because police violence is a thing. I don't know. Uh, spend more money on diversity officers, all right? You know, vote more uh, left-leaning politicians. Uh, educate the... Teach them. Teach them to stop uh, saying these things. Yes, yes, absolutely. I, I do support this. Support this fully. Uh, and I encourage you to support it as well, right? Like, wherever you go, you need to bring up this talking point. Uh, Belgium needs to do better. Uh, Belgium needs to improve and uh, educate the Belgians in order to behave more socially acceptable. Uh, right? Is, th is this enough? Is, th is this how am I supposed to do it? Like, what, what exactly do you want from me? And, and by you, I mean the people sharing this. Like, like what exactly do you want me to do? Because I wasn't there. I didn't do it. I don't know these people, right? But like, for some goddamn reason, you're showing it to me on my computer screen. So, so, so what exactly am I supposed to do? Hmm? Belgium needs to do better. Okay, I said it. I, I agree with it. Let me know what you guys think. And as usual, I will see you in the comment section. Take care.